Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to join you all in launching this call to action on a very important issue for us, especially today, ensuring that everyone has equal access to medicines and health technologies to prevent, detect, and treat COVID-19. The arrival of this pandemic transformed the world and our way of living in the space of a few short weeks. The impact of both the outbreak and the measures adopted in response to it have highlighted stark societal inequalities and their impact on our opportunities in life, our ability to thrive, and all of our human rights, including health. Even before we were confronted with COVID-19, access to healthcare, medicines, and health technologies was uneven, with deprivation depending on whether one was poor, susceptible to discrimination, or living in other situations of uh, marginalization. The pandemic has only broadened these disparities, and we must act now to change this harmful dynamic that robs so many of our, their life and health. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, we all recognize the imperative to build back better. And it is here that our partnership as actors in government, civil society, the United Nations system, the private sector and others has the opportunity to come into its own. Each of us holds one or several of the keys to unlocking access to medicines and health technologies for all. Some hold the keys to law and policy, others to research, development and innovation, and still others to affordability. Our human rights values, among them the rights to life, health, and to enjoy the benefits of scientific progress and its applications, equality and non-discrimination can help us to navigate this configuration of collective responsibility. The benefits of scientific progress, especially as they apply to life-saving innovations, were always meant to be shared. At no time has it been more urgent to work towards this goal. If not rapidly brought under control, the COVID-19 pandemic will continue to devastate livelihoods, businesses, and economies, affecting all of us in some way. So let us join forces to exchange data and information, accelerate technology transfer, and expand the availability of medicines and health technologies. Let us all do our part and let us do it well. 